have to uh, read in the. Yeah, you have to read the Norwegian. Okay. All the Vram and Kal Minnesota Venter Natten. Keeping one on a cold Minnesota winter night. We slept upstairs in a big room with open rafters and bare walls. The two by four were showering because it was still unfinished. Sometimes we could see frigid cold looking frost sticking on the nails and the thick white frost covering the windows. That was the boy's room. The girls slept on the other side that had more heat. We had a thermometer and my, my dad kept close track of the temperature. He would come up and tell us how cool it got, got. When it was real cold, our mother ordered us into the warmer room. If it got colder than 25 below zero, I would say our mother got after us to move into the warmer room. The boy had the beetle because we lacked sleeping in the big room even when it was real cold outside. When we got up in the early morning, we dropped out of bed and warmed down by the warm stove to get, to get our clothes on. There, there was register and, and the floor, so some heat come upstairs during, during night. We stay a little warmer at night because before we went to bed, our mother hit her flat ones and wrapped them in newspapers. Each of the kids took one and put them on the bottom of the bed by our feet. This kept us firm until we went to sleep. The beds didn't have springs to put mattresses on. So to make a soft bed, we fell up mattress cover with corn wicks for pad padding. You could, you could put as many hooks as you need to make it comfortable. I still remember the noise the hooks made as we jumped into bed. The mattress felt pretty soft when it was thick with corn wicks. I guess we could be called poor, but we didn't really know it's a poverty. We had plenty of thick blanket and this kept us warm all night. There were eight kids and six of us lived at home during most of the depression years. Clarice and Mildred got married around 1932. If I got way below zero, we didn't have to go to school. It can be dangerous and cold Minnesota winter and way out of line to expect kids to go outside to school in that frigid weather. We had to put up an awful big pile of wood in the fall to get ready for winter and, and it seemed like we never went out before spring. We went to a wood lot and cut down elm stems. We saved cute kit a bit by hand, but we also used some power saws. Sometimes people put a pole on a model 